It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Baltimore Ravens, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They are led out by their veteran quarterback hailing from Michigan State, and we like that. It's Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets really on point they spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field and when they get open he delivers now a first carry here for robinson and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. To throw, Cousins. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. On third down, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Fielded at the 33. Now a hit and a loose football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn.
So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 37. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's a second and five. Throwing is Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. Jackson, options out left. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. The quick feet... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Ravens get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. 
The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's second and three. Here's Cousins. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as the tackle made right at the 30-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Off the play fake, Cousins. A complete to Drake London. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Cousins again. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Robinson up the middle, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at him. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now a dump off here complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Bijan Robinson who took it home with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Returning it, Justice Hill. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. 
A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. We're facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. And take it right on the 30. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So out come the Falcons now. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Cousins on first down. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. There's Robinson showing the flash. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash, dropped at the one. 61 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet, running plays that are working, and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to them. In a big way, and they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? Second quarter now, Falcon football. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Robinson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Robinson will score. Touchdown Atlanta. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. 
Now Young Way Ku for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Bijan Robinson who took it home with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he's able to get up here to the 26. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now an option play on second down. The quick feet by Jackson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. And he will have a Ravens first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Now Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Here's second and seven. Now Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They certainly have the right read on that one. The weak spot in a cover two defense right down the middle because it really stresses the safeties. And they're going to be a little bit frustrated they weren't able to connect on that one. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Henry out of the pistol. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and eight. Off the option, here's Henry. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. 
Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. To throw is Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll go right back to Andrews. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. Bijan Robinson and the Falcons back onto the field. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good return for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't. I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. Stop it. I enjoy watching you do it. You're an analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. 
Now a second and ten. Cousins. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. They go play action, Cousins. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They'll throw again. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, Cousins. And this one too low. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Cousins now. He's got the connection to Moore. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Third and short yardage, Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Cousins into the hands of London. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. To throw. Cousins. Touchdown, Falcons! Jarnell Mooney from 10 yards out and the Falcons will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. 
and that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front, and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Coup now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Jackson now. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Now it's Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. That to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Meanwhile, Cousins throw into the hands of Pitts here. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Cousins. Right back to Pitts again. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a former Longhorn, B. John Robinson, who was tough to stop in that first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
The putter pinion now to kick this one away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Option play. Here's Robinson trying to run inside, but nothing there. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Cousins. goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And the Ravens taking the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm, and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. On third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He dumps it off for Henry. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. and yeah, That's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Falcons offense set to go. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He got 29 yards that time. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Here's third and six. Throwing his cousins. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Adafe Owe able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. 
He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And now here come the Ravens. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Play action. It's Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, Jackson. That's complete left side to Bateman. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Play action. Now Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. 47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The quick feet by Jackson. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. A first down carry for Henry, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 13-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. To throw is Jackson. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And he's got this inside the 10 to the nine before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's gonna bring up second down. 
And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This will be third and six. Jackson from the shotgun. Touchdown! Zay Flowers from eight yards out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Tucker now to add the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that one a long 11 play drive and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. A first down throw for Cousins. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch. Take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Cousins. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch <laughs> at all, did he? Middle of the field diving to grab it? No, he didn't. On oh, first and 10, it's Robinson. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now here's a second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 
It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Third and short yardage, Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 20, here's second and a couple. On the give, here's Robinson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 92 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Throwing Cousins. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Rondale Moore from four yards out. And the Falcons answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, Who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Bateman's got it on the crossing route here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now this throw caught left side, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, 
take their shots. Off the option, here's Henry. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And that flag accepted. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throwing is Jackson. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They go play action with Jackson. That is caught. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Again, Jackson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 28 yards. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Jackson will throw again. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, 
My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Second down and a run by Robinson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Cousins throw here into the hands of Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation... Should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll come up first and ten here. Hand off now to Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And right side, they're going to go option here. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, the noise got to be an issue now offensively. Here's third and six. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This for the lead in the final stages. Two knocks this one through the post. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 31-28, a little under a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Jackson connecting with Andrews and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four
Second and six coming up. Throwing. Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Jackson to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. And speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Here comes second down. Now Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. That was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance was just a little bit too great for it to happen here. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL.